Hello and welcome to another reading from the book that I may know him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled And Jesus Prayed, September 9th. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Luke 6 verse 12 the majesty of heaven while engaged in his earthly ministry was often in earnest prayer frequently he spent the entire night thus his spirit was sorrowful as he felt the power of the darkness of this world and he left the busy city and the noisy throng to seek a retired place for intercession with his father the Mount of Olives was the favorite resort of the Son of God. Frequently, after the multitude had left him for the retirement of the night, he rested not, though weary, with the labors of the day. While the city was hushed in silence, and his disciples had retired to obtain refreshment and sleep, his divine pleadings were ascending to his Father from the Mount of Olives, that his disciples might be kept from the evil influences which they would daily encounter in the world, and that his own soul might be strengthened and braced for the duties and trials of the coming day. All night, while his followers were sleeping, was their divine teacher praying while the dew and frost of night fell upon his bowed head. The example of Christ is left on record for his followers. Jesus was himself a source of blessing and strength. He could heal the sick and raise the dead. He commanded even the tempests and they obeyed him. He was unsullied with corruption, a stranger to sin, yet he endured agony which required help and support from his father and he prayed often with strong crying and tears. He prayed for his disciples and for himself, thus identifying himself with the needs, the weaknesses, and the failings which are common to humanity. He was a mighty petitioner, not possessing the passions of our human fallen natures, but compassed with like infirmities, tempted in all points even as we are. Christ, our example, turned to his Father in these hours of distress. He came to earth that he might provide a way whereby we could find grace and strength to help in every time of need by following his example in frequent earnest prayer. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to come back tomorrow to listen to another reading from the book that I may know him. Have a wonderful day and be encouraged.